I was 18 when I fell in love with you. And you are way more unsuitable than Ethan. Yeah, no one could change your mind about you. So, you know, Sonny, unfortunately, you love who you love. I'm sorry if you're in the middle oh, of something. No, no. Oh, come on in. Please. Come on Listen, in. Actually, he's happy that he's not going to have to hear my unsolicited advice anymore. So, oh. good luck, both of you. Why do I need luck? I just want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, Christina Summer. That's why I need luck. Yeah. Uh, I just want to make sure that we're on the same page as far as punishment mm. because she left the country with Ethan and I don't want her seeing him anymore. Done. Done. What does that mean, done? I took care of it. Yeah? She's not going on her senior class trip. Okay. She really wanted to do that. She's okay. not going to Manhattan with me and Molly on this theater overnight thing that we planned for okay. months. She really, really wanted to do that. Right. And she's got a curfew six o'clock every night. She's home for the rest of her life. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good punishment. That's a start. Sonny, let's talk about Ethan for a second. Okay. You know, if we force her to stay away from him, which we really can't do. We're just sort of begging her to defy us. It's, it's just not a battle we're gonna win. So am I, am I supposed to just put my hands up in the air and let my teenage daughter go out with a con man? That's not happening. If, no, if you don't mind. This no, is no, kind of where mind. you trip yourself up a little bit. When you say things like, I'm not gonna let you know, <laughs> people have free will, even teenagers. <laughs> They do have free will. It's, it's what, it's, it makes our country great. But you're, you're too soft. You let her run circles around you. You're the mother. You, you know, I'm the dad. You, I tell her what to do. She's going to do it. Oh, my God. I just don't know what to say. That's just so wrong. <laughs> you're such a Neanderthal. You really are. Mm. You know, join us. Please join us in the 21st century. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Okay, listen. You got to have faith. You got to have faith. That's right. right. Well, you, you need to have a little faith because there are going to be things that she does that we just don't okay, have any control The last control time we right. let Christina run with love, she went to a guy who beat the hell out of her. You all right with that? You're seriously asking me if I... I'm just... I'm no. Don't talk. Just, just, just listen for a second. Ethan is not Kiefer. Okay. To you, Kiefer wasn't Kiefer until our daughter wound up in, in the hospital You're going to insist up. on this. Let me ask you a question. So you think Ethan is going to beat up Christina? I don't know what Ethan's going to do, but I'm not going to I'm not going to sit around and find out at my daughter's expense. And I don't understand where all this like love for Ethan's coming from. What? Wait, you last time I saw you had your bag in, in your mouth like this and you, you were scared to death that they were going to elope. Oh my god. I don't even know. I'm speechless. Overreacted? No, no when, when that's they took the right together? reaction. That's the appropriate reaction that a parent has when their daughter takes off with a married man who makes a living pouring drinks and scamming people. It's the reaction that I want to see more from you. Oh. That's the kind of reaction I want to see. I'll make sure that I, that I do that for you. I, I love when you get all superior about how people earn a living. I mean, it just never okay, so fails now to you're, amuse you're me. You're deflecting because you're naive about the situation. But see, here's the thing. This crush that, that Christina has on Ethan has to end, and I'm going to tell you why, because I'm a man. Oh. No, listen to me. Christina keeps pushing and pushing this relationship with Ethan as a man. I don't care how platonic this relationship is, he will give in. And something's going to happen. Do you want that? No. No. So stop letting her manipulate you into complacency. You are the mother. You tell her what you want, and that's done. You are such a hypocrite. Why? Because Michael is, is living with an ex-stripper. And that gets your seal of approval? It's different. Really? How? Because Michael's a, a, a boy. And? And nothing. Oh, my God. I gotta go. As long as we're clear on what I, what oh. I said. 